So here you are looking for detail services, but what exactly is auto detailing? That is my goal is to help you understand and to become a more informed car owner and consumer. Hi, my name is Darren Priest and I am the owner operator of Auto Fetish Detail. I've been operating business here in Orange County, California since 1988. I thought that one of the best ways to help demonstrate and educate you as to what detailing is, is to bring you into a live example. But before I get to that, let me start out by saying this. The simple answer for detailing is the process of restoring your car from where it sits now into showroom-like condition. Now notice I emphasized like condition. Because really, I could take just about any car. I could take a brand new car and spend hours and hours on it detailing it. And the casual observation would be that, Darren, what could you possibly do to a brand new car? Well, that's the difference between detailing and customized detailing, is that you can restore a car to showroom-like condition, but there's ways through processes of polishes and polishing techniques that you can actually improve the appearance of the paint above and beyond what it looked like as day one. So you can take it to showroom-like condition or you can actually take it a few steps above that through advanced polishing techniques. But that's a different video for a different time. So this test model that I have happens to be my wife's car. It is a Mercedes-Benz. It's a C230 and it is a 2007 and it has 173,000 miles on it. So let me pull back and show you what consistent detailing can do for your car over the long term as well as the short term. So let's pull back and have a look at this car with 173,000 miles and some change on it. Most of you would look at this and would be in disbelief as to the year and miles on this car because it has been maintained very well by a professional called myself since almost day one. We actually did buy it used. It had 22,000 miles on it, but we've owned it ever since. So let's go in and take a peek and we'll take a look and to show you that in fact it does have 173,000 miles and some change on it. So what exactly are the details? The simple answer is the obvious. You've got the seating, you've got the floor mats, you've got the door panels. But if you start dissecting it and working yourself further and further down the detail hole, you'll see that it's a ripple effect. So you clean the seat and then you have the side of the seat. And then you have this plastic housing. And then you have the hand controls for the seat. Then you have the threshold plate, and then you have the gasket, the weather stripping gasket, and then you have this additional threshold plate, and then you've got this lip. So where do you start? Where do you stop? Do you stop somewhere in between, or do you detail it all out? Well, that's where only you and your detailer can decide as to what you consider a detail and how thorough you want the detailer to get. Now I know that when I detail a car, I like to get all the details, whether it's at the bottom, the top, the sun visor, the headrests, in between the seats, the seat belt receiver, go down the list. It is endless as to the details that you can get. Now something you need to note is that damage cannot be cleaned away. So for example, we have this hand rest here. And if you look closely, you can see some damage where you can see that the outer layer has begun to wear off. This cannot be cleaned away. The surfaces can be cleaned, but the damage cannot be cleaned away. So that's something that's important for you to note. Like this threshold plate, it looks virtually brand new, but sometimes it's scuffed so badly that it cannot be just cleaned and look perfect once again. So that is the limitations of a detailer and any detailer for that fact. Now before you go, let me add one additional point that I think is very critical to the equation and something that I like to help my customers do and that's to figure out what is appropriate for you and your world. After all, it's your world. 
your money, your car, your time. So there's what is possible with detail services, and then there's what is appropriate because everyone's world is different and unique. So what's appropriate for one person may not be appropriate for you and your world. So there's a whole list of things that people could go through in deciding what is the most appropriate conclusion or response when hiring a detail professional. Things such as, is this a daily driver? Are you going to keep the car for years to come? Are you going to be selling the car? Does the car get to stay indoors in a garage every day or every night? Is it kept outdoors every day, every night? How often do you wash it? Who is going to be washing it? So when you pull back, you realize that there's a lot of variables. So me as a professional, I think it's more important to help you come to a conclusion as to what the appropriate response will be in hiring either myself as a professional or perhaps someone else. But often we as consumers, we don't even have enough information in order to ask the right questions. And if the person that you're talking to doesn't have the ability to pull that information out of you and pull back and look at the bigger picture and formulate a winning combination between the pluses and the minuses, then unfortunately you may be taken advantage of. So I think it's very critical, and this is why I will ask you questions if you call me on the phone, which I hope you do, or have a look at my website. There's plenty of information here. Over in the left-hand column of this website, you'll see a navigation column. Right there, towards the top, will say detail pricing. That is a good place to start. So have a look around. If you don't like to look around, simply call up the phone. I promise to be professional, polite, courteous, and most importantly, very candid and honest. I realize and accept that not everyone is for me or that I'm not for everyone. We will decide together by me asking you the right questions, what is that winning combination of services that I can provide as a professional that is the winning combination for you and your world? I hope you have learned something and thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you at some point in the future.